As hunters, I feel like we spend most of our time wondering if we're ever actually going to see the fruits of our labor, or are we going home empty handed once again? I can tell you this season has been one of the hardest I've had to date. 11 straight sits, over 30 hours logged in a tree, without even an opportunity at a deer. But the beautiful thing about hunting is it only takes one moment to turn your worst season into one of your best. I know uh, it was a little early there and I wasn't able to uh, get the shot or I got the shot on camera but I don't think I got the actual buck itself um, I don't think he's gonna show up I think it's just too dark but uh, just smoked a really good Florida buck um, man I played this deer like a fiddle this morning you can't see it right here but uh that gum squirrel I got some black widow right here and my wind it's coming straight through there into this big block of woods behind me right here. And I got all that set up before I got in the stand this morning, obviously, real early. And uh, I started grunting about five minutes before I knew I could shoot. I had good shooting light. And um, once I started that little grunt sequence, it went in two minutes in this buck right here. Came right here, right there jumped the fence right there at me stood underneath me for like five minutes i'm sitting there trying to judge him i can't really tell this is a piece of property um, that my dad has actually it's his lease and uh we're only shooting mature deer out here um, horns don't matter as much it's all about the body how old they are and uh i couldn't tell he was in some thick stuff and then when he stepped out on the road i, I seen he was just a tank of a deer and I let one ride at 10 yards, and uh, he didn't go, shoot, he's five yards, literally dead, right there. I already jumped down, went and looked at him real quick, climbed back up here and knocked another arrow, but I'm gonna go ahead and get down and uh, let's go take a look at him. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the arrow. I shot him with a white tail special Grim Reaper. I shoot all black fletchings, so it's kind of hard to see, but that arrow right there is coated with blood, which I know it would be because he's literally laying right here. He, he didn't go probably 15 yards, honestly. Let's go in here and take a look at him. I will tell you, we're gonna go in here and look at him real quick, but I wanna be respectful of my dad. He's still hunting. He's in Texas right now, but he's coming back here in about a week. He's going to want to get in here and hunt, so I'm not going to shoot a lot of video in here. I'm going to show you the deer right here. We're going to go in and look at him, and then I'm going to get him out. We're going to go. We're going to run probably over to my cousin's house, and we'll pull him out and shoot some more video and let you see him a little bit better, but let's go take a look. Turn this around. I'm going to get a million hitchhikers on me right here. Ooh. what a pig of a deer boy god almighty like i said i got down here earlier because i wanted to go ahead and get his head set up good 
so uh, whenever we come in here or whenever we go to take pictures his head's kind of already going to be stiff he'll be make it a little bit easier for me to hold him up but what a pig look at the base right there the shot looks a little high but it came out perfect I think on that other side just because he was uh, he was so far underneath me that uh, it's just the angle looks that way but I smoked him I'm gonna go get the truck I don't know how I'm gonna load him up I got a lift on my truck so <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get him up in that joker but we're gonna see if we can't get it done like I said we'll uh, we'll head over to Trey's and get some more video of him stay tuned now turning on in Florida and uh, he's got a really good piece of ground that he's been managing for a couple years he's got some good deer on it he's got a few mature bucks like this one obviously the horns on this one are good um, there's some bigger deer out there but there's a lot of mature deer like this one out there this is one we really wanted to take out of the herd and he gave me the green light to go in there and uh, I put out a little black widow this morning did a little calling and he come right in right there at daylight I know uh, I don't think that you're gonna be able to see him real well in the shot, but that's just how it goes hunting sometimes um, But yeah, so we're actually leaving for Illinois Halloween night. Yep. Halloween night. We're leaving for Illinois. We're gonna be gone for two full weeks um, We're gonna be hunting some true Giants up there, but uh, like I said, it's just now turning on in Florida. Stay tuned. We got some more on the way <laughs> 